Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken, actually grilled chicken thighs. And this is the marinade that we used. It's new to us. I don't remember where I found this. It may have been Kroger in their ethnic section, um, but we normally use Walker's wood uh, marinade. And this one was also made in Jamaica. Some of you may know that Howard is from Jamaica and whenever I see Jamaican made products, I get them. So we're gonna be trying this out and let you nut guys know what we think about it. We are also having some sweet corn from Trader Joe's. And this is what it looks like. I already threw the bag out in the trash, but it is so good. Sweet as sugar. The best frozen corn I have ever tasted. And then we are just having some macaroni and cheese with it. I have this in the pantry. We needed to use it. Just some regular old Cracker Barrel sharp white cheddar mac and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am trying out a recipe that I tried last year as well. It is bacon cheeseburger soup. So in my pot, I have one pound of lean ground beef that I sauteed with some onions. And then I seasoned it with this hamburger seasoning. And then I also used garlic powder and onion powder. To the mixture, I'm getting ready to add in some cheddar cheese soup, Campbell's cheddar cheese, and cream of bacon soup. Now this is, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of hard to find. I used to be able to find it easily at the grocery store. Now, one of the only places that I've seen it is at the Dollar General. Um, so if you don't have cream of bacon soup or can't access it, I'm sure that cream of chicken or cream of mushroom would work as well. So I've got that in there. Adding two cups of milk. And then I'm gonna add some pre-cooked bacon. And I'll make sure, of course, to leave the recipe in the description box. So I'm just adding in that bacon, oops. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir let it come to a simmer. And then when it does, I'm just going to add in some cheddar cheese. Okay, so here is the soup. It was quick and easy to make, and it's pretty thick. It's almost like a chowder. So it's super thick, so if you wanted a thinner soup, you definitely have to add more milk to it. It does have a good flavor. I think I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more to kind of get the the taste that I'm looking for, but it's not bad. It really isn't bad and it's quick and easy to make. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, so today I'm trying out a recipe that I did try, I guess it's been a couple of months ago and last time I made it, I said I was gonna make some changes to it. It's a sausage rice skillet. So in my skillet, I have one pound of hot breakfast sausage that I've already cooked and to it, I'm going to add one package of the Lipton noodle soup and then also one cup of jasmine rice. So last time I made it, I thought there was way too much rice in it. It kind of took away the flavor. So the next time I said that I made it, I was going to add half the amount of rice and half the amount of liquid. So I am only adding, like I said, one cup of rice and then two cups of water. The original recipe was four cups of water and two cups of rice. I think if you do decide to stick with the original recipe, then I would double the amount of meat that you put in this dish. So I'm gonna stir this up really well, and then I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes or so, or until the rice is done. Okay, so here it is, and I like it a lot better with less rice and less water. So I'll link the original recipe in the description box, and I'll just um, include a note about, you know, how I did it a little bit differently, but it's really, really, really flavorful. 
With it, I am just serving some canned green beans and I had some frozen chopped onion that I add to, added to them, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of seasoning salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard and I are having a date night. There is no Harrison. We went to a Chinese buffet. So this is Howard's plate. This is round one. He's got a bunch of stuff on there. Can't even name it all. And then he is trying some spicy fish soup. And then this is my plate. I got a bunch of stuff too. And then I have some hot and sour soup. So Chinese buffet is what's for dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. Howard grilled some pork steaks for us, and here they are. And then I made some fried rice and green beans. So this is a fried rice seasoning that I use right here. Um, and I just follow the directions on the package. I add bacon, a green onion, you name it, I add it, whatever it says there. And then these are the green beans that I use. They are from Trader Joe's. This is a 16, oh, actually 24 ounce bag. And I use half a bag of green beans to make our dinners. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.